Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex from Lanspo and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video I would like to share with you a simple visual effect which I implemented into the last music video I recorded. It's very simple, no plugins needed and you can do everything in DaVinci Resolve 18, so let's go! As you can see right here I already have a part of the music video inside my timeline and all we need to do right now is to go to our color tab. Right here we need to find the last note and create two additional notes in the end. The last one we will call VFX and the first one we will call Magic Mask. Then we would need to go to FX library in the top right corner and search for Light Rays. Drag and drop it into our VFX node and you already can see there is something going on with our visual. The thing is that we have black background right here and we put the light behind it. So we can see those beautiful rays right here. And as you can see, if I switch on and off our effect, it it's also applies to the, those holes because of the source threshold. But let's first make sure that we played with our light rays. So we need to change the ray directions to an angle and then play with our angle to our liking. Let's leave it right here, for example, and then we can play with the softness of the light rays to make this effect a little bit more subtle. And as well, you can play with length to a liking. I would leave it right, just about right here. As you can see, it still affects our holes, so therefore we will be using Magic Mask. The next step would be to select our Magic Mask node and find Magic Mask here in the toolbar, which is right here. And we need to select our subject to isolate the effect that we are gonna use. To see what our Magic Mask selected, here, click right here on Toggle Mask Overlay and you can see that our subject was selected perfectly. But to make it even better, let's change our quality from faster to better. It will soften the edges of your mask and generally speaking, it will make your selection even better. All what's left to do is to click right here to track it forward and reverse. After your tracking is done, we need to unclick our toggle mask overlay to see how effects look like. As you can see, it still affects our holes, therefore all what's left to do is to drag the blue square from our magic mask to the blue triangle of our VFX to implement magic mask properties to our VFX and thus isolate our subject. And as you can see, our light rays are only on our subject as we wanted in the beginning. Then, after the tracking is done, you can play with softness, with length a little bit more to make it more, su more subtle or more visible. And in the end it looks like this. I think that this is a good showcase of how different tools in DaVinci Resolve can be implemented in different ways and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you find this video useful, please make sure to leave me a like, comment down below and consider subscribing to my channel for more upcoming content, it really helps me to grow. I am a beginner filmmaker from Czech Republic and here on my channel I share everything I find useful on my journey towards full-time filmmaker and working in DaVinci Resolve. Also, if you have some different questions, please always feel free to contact me here or on my social network. I will be glad to answer your questions. As always, it was a pleasure serving you guys and until next time, naschledanou!